TK, I know you like Chardonnay. I've been known to have a glass of TP. I've seen you drink one before, <laughs> one glass, definitely no more. Um, and, you know, I think Chardonnay is one of those things that, again, we talk about it all the time, is it's had a pretty checkered history uh, in Australia um, in terms of uh, style and, and everything else. And it's sort of been that big fat style. It's been really lean. It's sort of finally, um, you know, probably in the late 90s, early 2000s, late 2000s as well, we started to see this balance come in where we had some, some structure, some finesse, some elegance, some power. Um, I reckon we're pretty much on the knocker with this little guy. Oh, it's good. Oh, look, I think um, Tassie at the moment is just hitting it out of the park. There's just so much great quality fruit down there and great makers as well. Um, Sam Conyu uh, is an incredible winemaker doing great things at Stargazer. Um, this is her Chardonnay from the Derwent Valley. Um, yeah, what do you think? Mate. If I said to you, pick me a Chardonnay, oh, no doubt you would just that that just ticks all the boxes for me. Yeah, I think so. It's got so. power, it's got weight, but it's you know, it's just really good. Yeah, I, I think the thing is, Chardonnay drinkers they want to know they're drinking Chardonnay. Yeah, and I know that sounds kind of silly, but um, there is that style that sort of we went towards a little bit in this country where it became quite lean and really high acid and just almost too taut. Yeah. Um, and you're going to get acid in Tassie anyway. It's cool climate. When it's cool, the acid goes up. That's just what happens. So, but what Sam managed to do here is just sort of get this restraint in there as well. But it's kind of like a crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Yeah, there's a lot going on this in this heaps. wine. Um, I've just put this one in the bistro by the glass last weekend, um, and it has been very well received, probably more so by the staff than anything else. But um, you know, it is—it's just delicious Chardonnay that tastes like Chardonnay and smells like Chardonnay, and it's like walks like a duck. It's like Mate, I'm thinking roast chicken, oof, tarragon, mushrooms, unbelievable. I think, and again, I think it's kind of the thing with food and booze. Sometimes we do get complicated. Yeah. It's like you just roast a really good chop. Mate, I'm, I'm honestly on the chicken bandwagon at the moment. Yep. I want to get a, a half bird in here. Yep. Um, Dobber's put on that, the fried chicken dish, which is yep. going mental. I can't see that coming off for a while. Yeah. But there's so many different varieties out there, being organic or corn fed or even the ombre brands. Yep. Go out there and explore it. It's not just about getting a chicken breast from Coles. Yeah. Concentrate on quality chicken. Yep. Keep the skin on it. Roast it low and slow, yep. honestly. A little bit of tarragon, some fresh lemon. Butter, heaps of butter. I'd be very happy if that was put in front of me right now. Me too. Because that bottle like would that. not last very long. No, we'd need a couple more of those. Agreed. Responsibly, of course. Here's All right. to Chardonnay Here's and Chardonnay and Chook. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>